Hello, Scorpio. How's it going? Welcome to March 2018 love reading. Um, first, I want to say, remember to check your moon and rising as this reading is not going to resonate with all of you. If you have a question that needs to be answered the same day, it's best to reach me on Instant Go, which is an Apple app. The link is listed below the video. Android coming soon. Um... You can chat with me there. You can call me there. You can also, um, you know, send me a question. You can even video chat with me. Now, I do have certain times that I do readings on there, so please remember to read my profile when visiting my Instant Go app. Also, um, this reading is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, and Rising. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I know I'm not really good at announcements. I need to practice on that. Okay, so what are the messages, Spirit, for Scorpio, March 2018? And I'm trying not to use my table too much. Ace of Cups. Yay. <laughs> I'm a Scorpio. I'll take that Ace of Cups. So I feel like here, um, uh, two things here. I, when I get here from the Ace of Cups is new love is beginning here. Okay, so for some of your singles, for some of you singles out there, um, I do feel like new love is about to begin. I'm also getting a message here um, that so there's a relationship I feel that is that you've had before okay but maybe this person's not in your life or they come in and out of your life I feel like something is about to get going with that again oh, and then we've got the two of cups so hey you singles out there it's time to meet love. March is a good month for that. We do have a Mercury retrograde, so don't let that disturb your love journey, okay? Because um, sometimes when we just think ugh, Mercury retrograde and we've had some bad experiences during Mercury retrograde, we think all of the Mercury retrogrades are going to be bad experiences, and they're not, okay? So um, Mercury does go retrograde in a fire sign. We've got the Nine of Pentacles. Wow, this is good love. Good love. And we have the Two of Wands. And I'm going to ask Spirit for a result card, which is a Page of Wands. So I feel like some of you may be involved in with a fire sign. Okay, Leo, Sagittarius, or um, Aries. And I do feel that there is something that's going to uh, prosper from this relationship. And I feel like you will make the decision in March. What I feel is you're going to move forward in this relationship. Now, I feel like there's a little bit of a hesitation here with the two of wands. Okay. And I think maybe it's because maybe the two of you have crossed paths before. And you are just wondering what the, um, what incentive or, you know, what is it, what is it that this person really wants from you? Okay. Um, let's let the cards unfold of however I'm reading them row by row right now. We've got the five of wands, the queen of cups. The Empress, I feel here with the Five of Wands, you're holding on to something, uh, perhaps, perhaps a past experience, okay, that didn't, uh, maybe didn't go well, and, but I feel like the, that the cards, the Queen of Cups and the Empress is, is letting you know that you still have to be, I feel like there's still caution about some things, but nothing where I feel like you don't have that under control, Scorpio. And we've got the Eight of Pentacles. So with the Eight of Pentacles, I just feel like this, this, this is good. I feel like you're working on it. You're working on it. Maybe you're working on something too with, with the, the person that you love, with your partner. We've got the moon, which is also Cancer, the Two of Swords. 
So, you see, so what I'm feeling here also in the reading is there is some information either about you, Scorpio, or about someone that you um, care about, okay, whether it's your partner or someone that was in your life. And I feel like the two, with the two of swords, you know, this may first of all involve a cancer, but it doesn't have to be a cancer or any water sign. Um, but I just feel like there has been so many emotional, the emotional ties, emotional attachments, emotional swings with this person. Um, and then with the two of swords, it's almost as if maybe this person is such a charmer that they are actually, you know, out charming you, <laughs> persuading you, Scorpio, when you know that sometimes you've got these things under control here, but... I don't know. It looks as though they're not, um, let's get this last card, Page of Pentacles. I feel that you're going to pull through on this, okay? There's, there's a change here that you have a reason to feel happy about, that you have a reason to celebrate, okay? And I feel like that there have been three people originally involved in this situation. But I do feel like that person, uh, there have been life event changes in that person's life. And I feel like they, uh, you know, there might be more freedom now to uh, engage with them, to get involved with them. All right. So I want a theme card on that second row. Four of Cups. So this is something that you're thinking about. You know, should I get involved? Should I not? <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I was going to sneeze, so that's almost the truth there. Um, the Four of Cups is just daydreaming about maybe how things used to be with this person. I also feel like it's about also about you just thinking about whether or not you should move forward with this love. And if this love is being honest with you. Okay, what is the theme for this last row? And then we've got the six of wands. Hmm, you're just coming out of a, a, I feel like some of you are coming out of a, a, a place of where things were just stagnant. Things weren't moving. You weren't sure. Um, and I almost feel like you, some of you have like, put things off and have just got into a comfortable place where you know, everything feels safe and secure. But the three of cups is going to bring everything out. Perhaps you and your partner might actually work together or have a business together or, or just have a connection maybe spiritually or whatever. But I feel like there might be some things to work on here, uh, perhaps even working together on something that will bring happiness and a bit of money. I don't see tons of money in it but a bit of money. Um, but the six of wands, it's like you're still protecting yourself here. Okay, let's look at some love cards here and then I might pull some other cards. What are the messages for Scorpio? Well, Stay optimistic about love. And the message I'm getting with this one is stay optimistic about love because you're judging the situation of how it was in the past. Either your past experience or the experience you have with your, your partner or your um, significant interest here. And I think that you should just think positive. Believe, you know, people do change. All right, what are the messages for Scorpio? Worth waiting for. Attraction. It's safe to love. God, these are things we were just talking about. You deserve love, that's for sure. And release your ex. 
So what I'm feeling is that some of you are optimistic and some of you I feel like are waiting for someone to return that you were deeply in love with or deeply attracted to and you don't know like exactly a hundred percent beyond what that person might be saying to you because I feel like there is some uh, get-togethers or at least conversation about uh, maybe a bit of the past and also the present moving into the future you don't feel safe at times because you don't want to feel that pain or you don't want to feel taken advantage of or it's vice versa whoever's listening in on this video it might be your rising it might be your moon or it could also be your significant other's sun moon or rising but you don't feel safe here okay and you're starting to feel as though maybe it's time just to let go because you do deserve better you do deserve better. I need one more card, Spirit. Yeah, see, because it didn't, it's not that the two of you didn't have a good relationship or good love, but I feel looking at this photo, it's not about you didn't have enough attraction or chemistry like this card says. I feel like there were more people involved in this relationship that just, you know, you couldn't, you just couldn't take it anymore. And, um, and that's why I'm getting release your ex, you are lovable, and it's safe to love. Because I feel like it's time, or maybe you're now in a better place where you feel totally empowered. And that you're not concerned about whether this person is going to perhaps hurt you again, or maybe they're not telling the complete truth. Now, I wanted to pull one more card. We've got codependency here. So this could have been the problem of the past. It could also be happening still right this moment. Now, this could be emotional, just emotional drainage. Um, you know, some, some could have just been involved with too much drinking or, you know, substance abuse. Uh, it could have even been prescription addiction. Okay, which really put the relationship off balance. This could have even been a sexual addiction. Uh, perhaps you were with um, a Scorpio or um, you Scorpio happened to be with another like water sign, you know, cancer, for example. And maybe there was just a little bit too much um, attention uh, elsewhere rather than with you. Okay. All right, well, I am just going to leave this reading as it is. I wish all of you much love and blessings, and thank you for listening. Take care.